Hello everybody, and we are quickly popping onto the server. So, the last time, what you saw me do was... What the fuck? Oh, it's Nipty. <laughs> the last time you saw me mess around with this solar panel factory. Come on, load. Ooh. Oh, it's water. <laughs> um, I hope you liked it. I'm doing, as, uh, I've worked on the tree a little bit, as you can look slowly coming into, see coming into vision. Oh, all three of the guys are there. Maybe I'll pop in and, and say hello. Actually, I'll just do that right now. Channel switch. You big troll. What the fucking hell is this? Hello. Hello. Gars Prancy Park. This is this is going to be my high voltage solar array factory. Anyway, guys, I uh, probably won't put that bit into my video. I'll probably Dave keep it in Dave's video. I imagine for whenever they came along. Sorry for the interruption. Basically, yeah. So here is uh, the tree with the light sources and some paths in the ground just to break up the texture a little bit. I uh, hope you like it because I do. Oh, I crafted myself one of these in the in the meantime because well, I've got plenty of EMC, so why the hell not? Um, yeah. So what I need to do now—that's the entrance. Um, I don't know if I'll keep that or make a better entrance. I'm not really sure. I want to play around with uh, Red Pyre Two frames eventually. But yeah, what I'm planning on doing is is making it feel like I'm growing, uh, the, growing the solar panels from the ground like trees, like organic fruits, like fruits of the soil. Which are actually solar panels. So me and a me and a buddy have been actually working out trying to make a factory. His name is Mike Matrix. He's actually one of the um, a lead developers on the Voxel Box, and he's a he's a good guy. Um, and we've been trying to work out a good design for a high voltage solar array factory. And um, it's taken us a long time, and I didn't want to be the next video just you know be ages and ages and ages and ages away because that's always p possible whenever these things take such a long time. And I'm being so slow with videos lately because Eurogamers really set me back a bit um, on my on my like buffer, as it were, of videos. Um. <laughs> um Exactly. Yeah. Also, leave it in my comments what Nip they should do. Um, so let I had an idea for right. So basically, in this factory, there's several there, uh, there's several processes. Um, I need EMC, so I need to actually get the EMC for all the raw ingredients. And by raw ingredients, I mean the stuff that is the starter. So, for example. Rubber can't be EMC'd, so I need uh, sticky resin as one of the raw ingredients. Refined iron isn't a uh, 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 refined iron isn't a raw ingredient. Iron is, etc. So I need all the raw ingredients to be EMC'd in. So I need some sort of EMC generator. So I've been trying to think of an EMC generator that sort of fits fits the bill, as it were. And I think I've come up with something. So I'm going to try and work on it now, and I'll come back to you when it's done. I think. Yeah, let's do it that way. That makes sense. Alright guys, I'll be back to you when it's done. Okay, chaps, chaps set. So I've just built this very simple little device, which I think will help me do some EMC. In fact, I need some other devices. But anyway, um, yeah, this is the basic principle, I think. Now, in single player, this worked a treat, but when I tried it on multiplayer, it didn't work all that well. Um, I actually need still, still need one more item, but I thought I'd get that on camera with you guys. You'll notice I've crafted myself a red matter axe, and I've sh and I've shafted, hmm, excuse me, <laughs> and I've um, charged it to the full. And you can just you can uh, uncharge it with Shift and V, and charge it fully with V. And I'm not going to click it anywhere near this thing because that will be a nightmare. But basically, I hope this isn't I hope this isn't going to fuck me up. But anyway, the idea of this is. You know what, let's go get that item now. It only works, this will only work with a very specific type of tree, and I can already see, there we go, I can already see some of the saplings for it right here, some of the examples of it, so all we need is a sapling. So let's just, come on, sapling. Come on. I don't want to use my, uh, uh, what can I use, what can I use? If I use, um, the the chainsaw it would actually just get me the leaves so I, I want to avoid that. Come on, just one sapling. I haven't already got one, have I? No. Just one. Just one sapling. Come on, you piece of crap. Right, no, I'm just gonna keep doing all these trees and then eventually one will drop. 
<clears throat> that's the idea anyway. Oh, I love being able to fly. It's so handy. Whee! Just go right up to the top of the tree and go all the way down through the center. Like magic. Come on, something must have dropped a sapling by now. There we go, perfect. Awesome, awesome socks. So, ooh, oil. So we'll just get our uh, transmutation tablet back in like here. And let's get a stack of these. Now it's learned, isn't it? I'll just make doubly sure. And awesome. Let's burn the rest because, you know, I don't want to have 65. That's atrocious. 65 of something? Ugh. Anyway. Wow. I'm going to make this look prettier, but this is just to test it. I probably should be testing it somewhere a bit safer. Um, but anyway, because of the, the slots in the deployer, the deployer will go through and systematically go this one, then this one, then this one. And as you know from before, a deployer is a right clicker. So when you right click with a sapling, you plant it. When you right click on a sapling with bone meal, it grows it. When you right click with a red matter axe on wood, it cuts it all down. Now it needs some fuel, but the output is still greater than what you put into it. Um, and even if it's not, I'm pretty sure it is, but even if it's not, it's just so cool looking. So let's turn that off actually. Let's make it really slow just to be extra careful. Right, every three seconds. So come on now, plant the sapling. Good. Grow the sapling, please. Yes. Now will it cut the sapling? Yes! And also seems to cut some other stuff, but that's okay. That's okay. It did it left out a little bit there, but that's okay. Excellent. It's working, guys. And as you can see, it's used a little bit of the fuel, but it, that once it uses that fuel, this it, that'll last a long time. So that's cool. Let's get this out of the way, because the next feature I need is, as you'll notice, it drops loot balls. Now the problem with it dropping loot balls is, if you use something like a transposer or um, the obsidian pipes to cut up the loot balls. God damn it, my chainsaw's already broken. If you use that to um. I need to get myself a lap pack. If you use that to suck up the loot balls, you're going to be in trouble because basically they don't have an EMC. They only have an EMC once you pick them up into a normal inventory and then that um, c turns it into the items. Like as you can see, we've got some extra saplings here. Uh, where's the white wood? There. You know, etc, etc. So what we're going to do is use the same mod. Now this again, this worked in my single player creative mode. So hopefully it'll work here too. Um, oh, I need an energy condenser. There we go. Mm, hope this works. The same mod should allow the loot balls once they're taken up into this chest to turn from loot balls into EMC. Now the best way of getting them into that chest using the same mod, using the same device, is this thing called a black hole band. Now the thing about a black hole band is I have no idea how to craft it. That's okay. We can do that pretty easy. We can do that pretty easy. So, uh, iron. We need iron. Hopefully we can get iron from here, can't we? Get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight iron. Now, where's my Vulcanite amulet? It should be in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Nope. Wrong thing. So let's get ourselves one of these bands. Now, I think I have some strings somewhere. Where's my Vulcan I am in now? There we go. Okay, right. Do I have any string in this chest? Yes, I do. I need six more, but again, this awesome <laughs> EMC thinger just makes it so easy. Uh, one more. And the original. Okay, now, let's just actually keep, keep one in that pink chest just to be in, the, in our pink alchemical bag just in case we need it again. Uh, now, the dark matter I have in my inventory, so we're okay. I think it's just this, isn't it? Uh, where'd I put that band? Here we go. Yes, black hole band. Fantastic. Now, this, what this does basically, guys, is, let me try and show you. Um, let's get something like this, right. Now, in the, it's in my hotbar. Throw this stuff out. Um, okay, that's not actually working. Um. Maybe it needs to be. I don't. I don't know. I don't know enough about it in the inventory. But what it should do is this: get some dirt back out here. Let's just make a little bit more space so you can kind of see it happen. 
I haven't quite worked out exactly the layout of what I'm going to do aesthetically, because as you know, guys, as you can quickly tell, some the aesthetics of things matter almost as much, if not more, than the function of things for me. Um, oh, look, you see, that already pulled it into the inventory. So, it does work. Right, zero. Um, let's give this a go then. So, come on, plant this sapling. Yes. And bingo. And cut it down for me, love. And I think it just went in there. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Yes, it did. So what we need to do now is to work out the optimal arrangement of, like, where, how can I put this? Where this should be, where this condenser should be. Um, Because what I'm going to, and then the reason I put a condenser and not an alchemical chest is because I'm trying to, I'm going to turn this all into something. And then I was thinking bone meal, but we need to, we need to fill this up with, two things technically three but i think i'm just going to leave it with two and like put a stack of 64 eternals fuel in or something something crazy or put like a big klein star in or something <clears throat> basically it needs to be filled up with two things saplings and bone meal so i need to use tubes uh to refill this deployer so i need to work out exact and so for every every three times this clicks i might need to use counters and some other redstone logic oh it looks good at night time doesn't it but yeah i'm gonna have to have a think about it i'm gonna have to have a think about it but i'm pretty cool i'm pretty happy with this i think that will look good um you know if i have one in each sort of corner constantly growing trees and oh Luckily, I have this thing in my inventory now. I think I need to charge it. Oh god, I better not put it upwards. I think that'll just turn it off. Better get this out of my <laughs> inventory, otherwise I'll probably burn the entire place down. I think that'll look really good. Now, I can go faster with it. So, I'm going to try going to... Let's say... Not point four. And it doesn't even render it in time. But it is working. That's producing a decent amount of EMC. Let's let's um let's get something in here like say around like a dark No, let's get let's get a diamond because diamonds are kind of like the standard EMC thing, aren't they? You know? So let's get a di diamond in here. And let's just see how fast the EMC goes. So let's let that condense. Because you know it's an entire tree at a time. The other thing I could do is if I put this deployer up one. If I like, if I separated the red matter axe and the eternalis fuel, um, it would it would be helpful because it would make sure that that top bit always gets done. Um, see, it's gonna run out now. Let's see how. That's pretty fast. That's very fast. Wow, I'm impressed. I didn't think it was as fast as that. And now it's run out. So we need to work out a way to automate it. So I'm going to be thinking about that, guys. And I'm probably going to try and end this episode here and render it out quickly to let you guys uh, just get an episode because I know you, you haven't been having you haven't been having one uh, for a while. So just to let you know that I'm still alive. I'm still working, and this thing will be a it will be a working factory. Basically, what I want to do is go back onto my single player world and really crack out the design process because doing that on camera will not be enjoyable for anyone because i'll be going hmm ha hmm hmm ha rhythmically like a song and i think the best thing to do is work it out on my own time and then come at you with the exact um the exact working design and explain it to you guys um you know go through and say this is what this does this is what this does etc etc so yeah, so for every stack of bone meal and saplings, I get two diamonds. So let's just work out the exact EMC. Um, so two diamonds is about 16,000 EMC. 32 times 64, and what's bone meal? So work out the exact, and I'm just estimating. Uh, 64 times 48. I'm pretty sure that's still a... I hope to God it's an increase, otherwise we are 
Um, <laughs> otherwise, this is a pretty pointless machine. Hello, buddy. I need some better weapons. I'd quite like these powerful chainsaws and stuff. Um, the bat pack just keeps draining, though. I might have to get myself a lap pack, but then in order to get a lap pack to make good use of it, I really need power. And in order to need power, I'm going to need high voltage solar rays. And in order to get high voltage solar rays, I need to get this factory. So I'm kind of doing things arse about face, but I kind of like that. All right, guys. Tara for now. Bye.